Jackson County, all my blessings. God, come get me out of this town. It's every day I wake up wishing I could break up with the city light and construction sound. I couldn't wait to move, I had so much to prove. It's all I could do. Guess where we are? We are back on the Pine Creek Rail Trail. We're at the northern terminus up in Stokesdale. So I'm gonna start another training ride. I camped out last night at the Little Pine State Park, which is about 20 miles south from here, but I rode up to the north uh, section of the trail to do some miles today on my coffee anyway I'm still practicing for my trip that I'm doing next month which will be the Great Allegheny Passage and uh, just trying to get some miles in I was able to get Sunday and Monday off from work and probably gonna do about 40 or so miles today we do have some really crappy weather that's about to come in today um, it's overcast right now but we're talking about some terrible thunderstorms later today and some torrential downpours starting at about 2-3 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm going to head south on the trail, see how far I can get. The goal is to get down to Slate Run. I'd love to get down to Slate Run and go to the Hotel Manor and grab some lunch and then come back up. And I'll keep you posted on mileage once we get on the trail. For right now, here's to Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, I'm going to drink this coffee and get on the trail. We'll see you in a little bit. So much better than Starbucks. You know, I just got on the trail 10 seconds ago and I'm already in a better mood. We have the deer greeting committee up ahead on the left. Can you see her? I think it's a her. Today is Sunday, July 9th. It is about 9.30 a.m. And it's already about 75 degrees. Had some rain about four o'clock in the morning. I stayed over at Little Pine State Park, which is about 20 miles south from here. Nice little campground. It was a little crowded for my liking, but you know, it is summer vacation time. So I took the ride up north to Wellsboro. Gonna get some miles in right now. You can see that fog up in the distance. Some of it's burning off. Little overcast, little patchy skies. I see some blue here and there, but that's supposed to change later this afternoon. The weather people are calling for some severe thunderstorms, about an 80% chance of severe thunderstorms and some pretty significant torrential rains. I looked at the radar before I headed up here this morning and from what I could tell, it's just to the northeast of here. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna avoid us down in the Wellsboro area. As I said earlier, the goal is to get down to Slate Run and then have lunch down at the Hotel Manor and then head back up here to Wellsboro. Come on, Bunny Rabbit, I race you.
Oh, I think I, I think I may have found the farm. Let's see if I can swing around here. Give you guys a look at this. It's definitely a goat, I see. Oh man, that would be so cool if this was the place. I can see Riley running around, having fun out here. I think that might be it. Yeah, it's gotta be. How many goat farms can there be in this one area? There's a little barn over there off in the distance to the right. Man, what a life that must be to just sell your goat milk, make some goat cheese, and live in such a beautiful, like, this is your backyard, guys. Look, at your backyard. Oh, I need to find a place out here. That's got to be the farm. Oh, and look at the big doggies. Hey, doggies. Hey, buddy. I'm just looking. I'm not going to touch the sheep. I won't take any. I mean goats. Listen to me. Some farmer I'd make, huh? What a beautiful dog. All right. I'll be on my way. All right, I'll see you later. Maybe we'll be friends next week if I stay. All right, go tell Esther I'm gonna stop in. I hate when the weatherman is right. I mean, I hate when he's wrong, but I also hate when he's right. It is uh, officially starting to rain. Nice little rain shower starting right now. And if I had a guess at the time, actually, let me unzip my little pocket here and get you a accurate time for the weather books it is 11 23 a.m on sunday july 9th 11 23 so about a half a mile to tie dot and campground where i am going to have a quick snack and we will give you the reader's digest version of my health and my road to recovery should be coming up on the campground any minute now all right so we are at Ty Dotton campground this is approximately 17 miles south of the Wellsboro trailhead Gorgeous little campground. 
with the Pine Creek. All right, Pine Creek. Right next to it. Look at that view, guys. I mean, is that spectacular? Sorry, I had to check the microphone. Absolutely spectacular. You can see the water is a little bit low right now in that section. Crystal clear. Lots of little fishies. And just give you a quick tour of the campground over here. So, all of these spots, which look like there weren't too many people here last night. But you can online go to the Pennsylvania State Forest DCNR sites. And there is the Tyadotten State Forest, as well as the Tioga State Forest. And kind of on the borderline, halfway down the trail is one, and the other half is the other. Please don't ask me which one is which, because I always mix them up. But if you go to Pennsylvania D. Sanor site and just look up Tyadotten Campground, there's Bonnell Flats, Black Walnut Bottom. There's a whole bunch of them. And they started, they used to be free. They started taking a charge now, which is minimal. I think it's $10 or $12 for the night. But with a picnic table, with a place to hang your lantern from, or your food, I, you know, Personally, I would do a bear bag uh, in one of these trees away from your site. Yes, we are in the middle of the woods. Yes, there are bears. Yes, there are coyotes. I know everyone thinks I'm making that up, but there are a lot of coyotes in this area. I know that from when I hiked part of the West Rim Trail. You hear them howling at night. So anyway, Nice fire ring set up. There's a nice spot back here. And being a hammock camper, I am always looking for a spot with trees. And I think this would be perfect right back here. Although I don't necessarily like being right next to all of this ground cover because that's where the bears would like to hang out. But these two trees, one, two, probably work perfectly. Actually, I'm going to piece this one off. One, two, three, four, five, six paces is 12 feet. And it looks like our winner right there. All right. I uh, put my little trail stove on. I'm boiling some water. I'm going to make a cup of coffee real quick and sit down and take a little break. So anyway, let me turn this camera around. Yep, this is me, guys. This is me, the new and improved Steve. I am really enjoying this new lifestyle of mine. And when I say new lifestyle, um, you know, the thing with a GoPro is they don't have the flip screen, so I'm hoping that you can see me. Anyway, I am, um, I was in the hospital 275 days ago, having my second heart operation, operation procedure. It's weird, you say operation and people think of the old days when they would cut you open from your chest down to your, I don't know, groin and go inside and do whatever they had to do. It's like so different now because everything's laser and a whole lot less invasive. Although when they shave your private parts and put two catheters in your legs, I'm not really sure that's not invasive. Anyway, um, so I was living a crazy lifestyle and 
eating a bunch of crap and drinking way too much and just not taking care of myself, not exercising, not doing what I should be doing to be in better shape. And, uh, oh, the water's boiled. Let me turn this around. Oh, I forgot to flip these out. Take the top off. Oh yeah, water is definitely boiled. So, I'm gonna make some coffee and set the camera down and we'll finish this conversation in just a second. I think if I put the camera right there, you guys will be able to see me just fine. Up a little bit like that. All right. All right, where was I? So, um, it was 275 days ago and I was in the hospital. I'm not gonna be rude and eat in front of you. And uh, doctor asked me some serious questions. He's like, so what do you think got you here? And I told him it's the way I was living. Um, I have sometimes a very stressful job and I would leave work, stop at the local bar and have a couple drinks, a couple of shots, and then wake up five or six hours later, drink like six crazy cups of coffee, have some Red Bulls at work, and drive home, stop at the McDonald's drive through because I worked too late and didn't feel like cooking when I got home. And one day I was at work and I passed out and woke up in an ambulance. And two paramedics trying to jab an IV into my arm, riding down the highway, finally got it in and thank God because I lived, I lived to tell this story. Um, I was scared. I could have died. Sorry. It's still hard to talk about. I remember being wheeled into the operating room and being so scared. And I had that first thought of mortality, like, man, I could die. What if I don't wake up from this operation? And what can I do to make my life better? So I made some real hard decisions that day and one of them was that I was going to stop drinking. And guys, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not preaching. I'm not saying that it's for everyone, but I knew that it was right for me to make the decision to stop drinking alcohol. And it's been hard. There have been times when I almost caved and wanted to go back to it and said, screw this. But I'm glad that so far I've been able to stick with it because it's, it's made a difference in my life. It's allowed me to do things like this, to be out on a bike trail and exercise. And I'm not going to lie, I still struggle with trying to lose the weight. But if I had still been drinking, I'd probably be hung over right now and at home sleeping. But instead, I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and I have just rode my bicycle 17 miles. God damn it. I have too much to live for. I have Stacy, who's the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me. And I need to be here for her. I have my children, I have my mom, I have my family, 
I have my friends at work. I have too much living to do. So. <sighs> Try to pull it back together, guys. I am. Um, I've been exercising a lot. I've been working on losing the weight. Something that I still struggle with because God knows I love a glass of milk and some Oreos and my Swiss rolls, but I don't do it as often as I did. Christ, what, what are these? I'm eating bonk bars. I'm eating plant-based protein bars for lunch. That's how serious I am about losing this weight and staying healthy. So, thanks for watching this channel, guys. It, it keeps me going. It keeps me able to be out here. And I want to do this not just for me. I want to do it for you. I want to do it for the people that are struggling. And I'm not a medical doctor. I, I don't pretend to be. Christ, I'm still drinking coffee. But I'm having two cups a day, not 15. Sorry. Um, in about three weeks, I'm going on the Great Allegheny Passage. I'm going to ride my bicycle 150 miles. I never thought I'd be able to do 10 miles on a bicycle, and I just did 17 today. Back in April, I did 60 miles on the same trail. And I remember thinking what an accomplishment that was that I could ride a bicycle 60 miles. And then a couple weeks ago, I did 60 miles in one day. So listen guys, if I can do this, you can do this. And again, I, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not preaching that you need to quit drinking in order to do this. <sighs> Sorry. I did it because it was the right thing for me. And I'm gonna continue on this path. I'm gonna continue living a healthy lifestyle. And I'm gonna continue living. All right, enough of the crazy heavy talk. I'm gonna gonna have my lunch, my little snack, and I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and drink some more Gatorade. And then, how about we go on the rest of this bike ride? All right? Thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate you all. Whew, that was hard. In a casino 13 years ago We were working there together and fell in love Those vacations down to Myrtle Beach That was where I knew that you would be the one Yeah, it's really like a soulmate-style connection When we hike or camp, it's always an adventure so much good and bad and crazy circumstances Even in the rain we keep on dancing Baby, yes, our love is real and strong We're a team and no one can stop us We're up, we're down Anything that comes we'll ride it out no matter what the world might bring Our bond can't be broken We've got each other, baby And that's worth its weight in gold When life's ocean gets too rough mm -hmm. Baby, nothing can stop us Nothing can stop us
We lost loved ones in our families My son, our dad, your sister went missing Through the sorrow of our tragedies I help you through when you're there to help me So we get away, escape down to Cape May The Jersey Shore is there to keep us sane Even Riley tags along when we go places Our sweet dog brings smiles to our faces Baby, it's the highs and it's the lows But through it all there's one thing that I know comes we'll write it out and no matter what the world might bring our bond can't be broken we've got each other baby and that's worth its weight in gold when life's ocean gets too rough Mm -hmm. baby nothing can stop us nothing can stop All right, guys, we are at Darling Run, and uh, give you guys a little road map here. We got one mile to the creek. We just did 7.5 from Tyadotton, and then uh, I think we're about nine miles back to Wellsboro. I'm gonna take a little bathroom break and have some water. Scrolling down my feet online and all the fines, all my friends are doing well. Yes, I never thought about the mud. The mud on the back. The reason I'm looking is because a woman just got off the trail and entirely up the back of her shirt is a streak of mud. Yes, that's why some people run fenders. Mm. Never even thought about that. A little mud on the light. No biggie. Today was a fun day. Today was a really fun day. I uh, got to spend some quality time with myself. I think maybe uh, that's something all of us need to do every once in a while, more often than we do. I think we all get caught up in the go, go, go. Gotta work, gotta work, gotta pay bills. Rush, rush, rush. And I think that just going out and relaxing once in a while is good for the soul. I know it is for me, so I highly recommend that you guys do the same for yourselves. Don't let your 
world gets so crazy around you that you forget to take time for yourself to de-stress, to unwind, to have a little fun. All right. Last few miles, guys. Thanks again for coming along and listening to me all day, especially when we were at the campground. That means a lot to me that you, uh, you know where my, my head is with why I'm doing this. So thanks again for coming along. I'm actually gonna sign off now because it's always awkward doing that in the parking lot with people pulling in and out and they're watching you. So a sincere thank you. Once again, if you haven't already, think about it. Think about subscribing. I'd appreciate your company on these rides. And again, let me know in the comments Whatever, feedback, questions, anything, just give me a thumbs up. Like the like or dislike, I don't care. Let me know if I did something wrong. Let me know what you want to see so that I can improve the channel for you. Two miles to go. Guys, thanks again. Remember, life is short. Enjoy the ride. Oh, rain on me, you stormy skies. Wash my sins away. Let the thunder roll, let the lightning strike until I'm clean again. Oh, moon shine bright behind the clouds but don't you show your face till i'm clean by and by and i'm free from earthly trials till i'm new again after the rain oh after the rain when the clouds roll away when my skin is soaked with water when the pain is off a great i can face the coming days when i'm new Don't matter where I am I won't be a happy man If those clouds just follow me Someone said to me You're a fool to wait I will take you down to the river And the stream will wash away All the pain of Dude, yesterday you me, okay? I said thanks but I Test one, two, three, four. Help me help me with this out of the I almost lost my GoPro in the river. That would have made for a very ugly. Going in the blooper reel. Damn, that was almost a uh, holy shit. <laughs> The things we do to make YouTube videos, guys. The things we do. Alright. <laughs>